comments and requests, we shall do the Perth. Premium tier six Commonwealth Cruza. Okie dokie. Let's get rid of that. And let's take a look at this replay sent in by Helicopter Rescue. Oh, Lert, you got a Perth in the Christmas box. Oh, congratulations. It's a very fun ship. I really wish I would have played it when it was tier 6 ranked. Um, I didn't. And uh, I kind of regret that because. I think I would have I think I would have been able to do a lot of really good things and that was of course before the smoke fire detection nerf um, unfortunately now this ship is much harder to play because of that so get my characteristic screenshot very pretty I do like I, I love the graphics in this game I'm sure you guys do too but I love how they they keep updating the graphics and, and increasing your your graphical capabilities and stuff of, of the game. It's just so doggone beautiful. So this is the tier 6, like I said, tier 6 premium cruiser. Um, and I thought I saw you were in a um, tier 5, 7 game. I'll take a look in a second. So yeah, so um, she's got some good guns. They're... Um, Unlike the, the British cruisers, they can fire HE as well as AP. Um, she's got some torpedoes. Let me switch to the sunny side so it's easier to see. She's got some torpedoes. Where are you? There you are, right there, um, that can be single fired. So that's pretty useful. Um, but the big thing about this ship is, of course, the smoke and the spotter plane. So it's kind of like Belfast when you can smoke in radar and see what's going on around you, except this one. You can smoke and use a spotter plane. It's not as good for, for detecting destroyers that are nearby, but I'll tell you what, you can detect cruisers and battleships, and then you can shoot them in your sa in, in the safety of your own smoke. And then you've got Hydro, so you're free to, you know, sit there and do that. Hey, what do we got here? Normandy, I think? Yeah. Oh, Rock Surgeon again. You Okay. So, um, the, uh, the thing about the, see, he's doing, he's, see what I mean? There's a super tester thing. You're too busy looking at the ship and, and taking pictures and, oh, ah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so the thing about the Perth is it's really good if you can mount all three, especially all three of the special, uh, con consumable booster modules, upgrades, whatever. So there's the, uh, there's the one that, that boosts your hydro. Of course, that's really useful, very handy. Um, the one that boosts your spotter plane action time is, is very good, so you've got that extra vision. And like Seabear mentioned in the chat, yes, you can also boost the smoke as well. Ooh, helicopter using the zoom out mod. What a hacker. Well, you know, keep an eye out. You never know when, um, when they'll open things up for people to join in the super test. I got kind of lucky myself. I got in a, as a as a wiki editor, and then they said, "Bam, Fable said, well, you can do both." And I'm like, "Yes, I can." <laughs> Excellent. And then that's how I got in, <laughs> along with Personator. So Helicopter is putting himself in a position right now to prevent um, a push on B cap, and I like the fact that he's sitting here. He's ready to go, but he's not he's not committing yet. But the, with the cruisers, especially a cruiser like this, you can't afford to be out there spotted and shot at by everybody. Um, so you want to you want to kind of put yourself in that position. Now, he's probably noticed how most of the enemy team has gone north. So B cap is pretty much, pretty much open. I mean, look at this. They only have one destroyer. That destroyer was spotted at Charlie, is smoked up. So aside from the fact that there's these darned aircraft carriers out there, 
Um, you're relatively safe. You got three people targeting you. Oh, incoming fire alert telling you that you're about to get blapped. LOL, no. Hydro, because B cap is being capped. Now, if I were you, I would. Yeah, you're smoking up. Good. Maybe pop your uh, your your scout plane and see what is on the other side of that island. Gotta be a cruiser. There it is, Atlanta. You do not want to see that in this ship. Oh my God. AP, AP, AP. There you go. And you got lucky there, he was using AP on you, but the problem is, by the time your shots are back, it's too late. Although, look at this! Wow, he even slowed down for you, and your Kirov just saves the day for you. Now, here comes Operation Rolling Smoke. This is what makes the Perth so fun, and by the way, the Huang He has this capability as well. As long as you stay within a, with, within a quarter speed, see that, that uh, indicator on the side here for those of you guys that don't know? That means that you can deploy smoke and not be seen while moving. As long as you stay underneath that speed, you're all golden. There's literally nothing that can be done about you, and because you're moving, it is really, really hard to be spotted and seen. I'm not sure why you haven't engaged this uh, new mechs yet, though, but, I mean, just me. There you go. And he's, he's nice broadside to you too, so. And there's the end. You have to be really careful. That's the thing about this ship. You have to time when you're going to get out of that smoke screen very carefully. Um, because, yeah, this can happen. At least you're going to get the cap. But that Saipan is doing a really nice job of keeping you spotted. And yes, yeah, she is she is very agile. She's a, a very fun ship to play. Um, oh, New Mexico shooting at you, but those are not going to hit because you're already slowing down. Now, what is that? Is that the uh, that's the the destroyer? Yeah. So Gaja is, is moving out of sea, having kept it successfully, and you're in a bit of a sticky situation. You're down to about half health now. And, um, you gotta be really careful here. This is one of those times when you, you almost have to cut back and, unfortunately, try to try to get your team to, to get more into it, because, uh... I mean, now keep in mind too, I'm going to pause for a second. This is extremely dangerous what you're doing. You're going to go and try to prevent their push over here. Now you've got a Fiji that's probably going to die. Omaha, probably going to die. New York, that's in New York, it's going to die. Ki or Kirov, uh, maybe. But the thing is, you've got a whole minute before you can use your smoke. So you have to be really careful here. If you're going to go and do this, because you want to make sure you try to time it. So I think what you're trying to do is get to this island here before before uh, you smoke so that you're in position. But the problem is Saipan. So I don't know, you might, might want to play this a little bit more cautiously than you are right now, but we'll see. Cleveland takes a big chunk, that was cool. Wow, Fiji took out the Cleveland? Are you kidding me? Oh, he was in smoke. Okay. Well, yeah, the CV. I mean, look, if you look at it, the Saipan's got dive bombers, which means he's got three fighters. So the Saipan is, is just basically built to deny spotting and everything. I love... I. I used to love, I don't love it as much anymore, but I used to love the Saipan with 301. I used to call those my judgment bombers. You just, you just look at a destroyer and uh, you judge them. 
and you just drop on them and boom they lose like over half their head points and you just laugh okay smoke available and here it comes operation rolling smoke again in force there's the gajimata as your division mates does some dirty things to the New Mexico. Gotta get that guy out. The other, the stall around the that, that spot there on the flank has kind of stopped now, so that's good. Look at your Cleveland. What is your Cleveland doing? Hopefully he's shooting the Gaja right there. Torpedo hit on the Legao, who is just about to get into the cap. Nice torpedoes. Very good forethought there. Basically what he did was he thought, hey, there might be somebody that, that'll come in. So what he was trying to do was deny that push into the cap. And you did it. Even if the torpedoes missed, that would have given him something to think about at least. Um, I would be running my hydro now. Turn on your hydro, sir. Uh, Legal has 9 kilometer torpedoes, so he's got the ability to hit you with those torpedoes. Um, hey, look, torpedoes. So yeah, I would I would be running the hydro man. Seriously? You are incredibly lucky. Those torpedoes will be instantly spotted, so I'm not sure if that was necessary to fire those off. Uh, and you're once again in a situation where that smoke is gonna expire. Again, very dangerous spot, but once again, you get yourself a full cap. I don't know about you, I think that Sharn Horse looks a little on the cold side of things. It might need to, to warm up a bit. Maybe you can set it on fire. Now look at what Helicopter's doing here. I love this, he's getting behind the island. And for some odd reason, nobody's shooting him either, which is great. But by getting behind the island, that other Sharn Horse, the, these guys up to the north, um, where's my, where's my, there's, these guys and these guys really can't shoot him right now. So he's a bit on the safe side, although you're getting a little bit into the Bayern's detectability range. <coughs> or firing arc, I mean, excuse me. Gajamata nearby, uh, again, there's the Hydro, good. Oh, man. Are you gonna dodge? I don't think so. I don't think so, and this is it for you, sir. A little late on the, the noticing there. Um, so yeah, my feedback for you. Use that Hydro! Um, honestly, I would have used it earlier with the with that Legal, but... You know, and then it would have been out, so... That, uh, that guy probably would have nailed me if I was in your shoes, too, but... I think I would have... When you were... When you were going... Here, I think I would have slowed down and stayed there. Let the island prevent these guys over here from shooting you while your smoke comes back up again. Because the thing is, the, the Perth without the smoke is, is nothing. It's garbage. It's the smoke that makes that ship even usable. At least in my opinion. What do you guys think? Ilio Cesare. Look at you, spectating the shell cam. Why not, right? Gotta check out that new hotness. Meanwhile, your other buddy in the Arizona is doing work over there, and hopefully, hopefully, you guys will find that um, stupid Saipan. Yeah, you're exactly right, Barry. You're just kind of sitting there like. Don't mind me, I'm just kind of sailing along here, casually. Oh, Gajamata. Now you can see that um, 
Your division mate is immediately turning as the judgment bombers come in. And now you're set on fire as uh, your division mate is going to go down. Adidas. You know, now I thought about it, I should have gotten a picture of your dead carcass. Oh well. Too late now. Our victory is in sight. Look at this poor New York just kind of sailing along. I'm amazed he's still alive and at so much health. Because when we saw him last, when we noticed him last, he was all the way over here. Surprisingly, your carrier still has planes, so he hasn't been completely taken out. Up oh, here comes New York on Gaja. Who's going to win? Place your bets now. Yeah, it is a bit morbid, but you know, it's all it's all fun, right? Actually, the death animations in this game have really improved. It used to be that you would just explode and then just sink slowly into the ground. But they've changed it all up now, so like, you know, your your ship can split in two. It can roll upside down. Actually, that's not too bad. One torpedo hit, but I'm sure, yeah, there's the other. Uh, just a few more torpedoes. Smoke. <laughs> Oh man, now he's, he's less than two kilometers away, which means... Oh ho ho ho! Schooled son by a tier 5 battleship. <coughs> so anyway, like I was saying, if you're, if you're below two kilometers from an enemy, you are automatically proximity spotted. Nice shot there by Mr. Rocket Surgeon, who's about to burn out. Toasty! Up, oh, does he get- Oh! As, as he wins, that's great. Yeah, very good guns on the New York, supposedly. I, I hated the New York, grinding through it. It always had really good, powerful guns, but it could- I, I could never- I could never um, sit at all things with it. All I could do was like um, um, get citadeled by New York's. So I don't know what it is with that, but you know it is what it is. But you know what, helicopter? Thanks for sending in that replay of the Perth. It was a it's a really good example of how a division can really carry a game. Because I mean, your division mates did some real work there. That was awesome to see. All right. Thanks to Killjoy for making that uh, that graphic for me. <laughs> All right, so um, what do we got now? We've got um, we've got gearing, we've got 